hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss about one problem it is on the board let's go for that two cells of emfs 4.5 volts and 6.0 volts and internal resistance is 6 ohms and 3 ohms respectively how their negative terminals are joined by the wire of 18 ohms and positive terminals of a wire of 12 ohms resistance a third resistance of wire of 24 ohms connected middle point of the these wires using Kirchhoff laws find the potential difference at the end of the third wire that is the question children two cells of emfs 4.5 volts and 6.0 volts and inter resistance 6 ohms and 3 ohms respectively how their negative terminals joined by the wire of 18 ohms and positive terms are by a wire of 12 ohms resistance a third resistance of wire of 24 ohms connects middle points of the, these wires using Kirchhoff laws find the potential difference at the end of the third wire so it is, seems to be very big but it is only very simple children here what was given there are two cells this is the first cell and this is the second cell clear so what you are saying that two cells of emfs its emf is what 4.5 volts and this emf is what 6.0 volts and the first cell has interaction 6 ohms so it is having some interaction 6 ohms clear and for the second one how much is the children interaction so much 6 ohms and 3 ohms so it is the first one is 6 ohms and next one is 3 ohms and after that what he was given how their negative terminals joined by the wire of 18 ohms here this is the one wire positive terminal these two are positive terminals and these two are the negative terminals so here like this that should be connected by wire of resistance how much he was given as 18 ohms 18 ohms clear and what he was given again positive terminals are by the wire of 12 ohms 12 ohms that's why here we are drawing we are joining the positive terminals by the wire of 12 ohms this is the 12 ohms and after that after that the third resistance of wire is connected middle of point of these wires so these are the middle points middle points in that one wire is connected its resistance is how much 24 ohms 24 ohms so this is the 24 ohm children and what you will find out using the Kirchhoff laws find the potential difference between the ends of third wire for like this is the one end of the third wire and this is the second end of the third wire in between these two points what you have to find out potential difference by using the Kirchhoff laws so we have to find out the potential difference how much in between these two ends that is we have to find out clear this is the question pattern children now we have to apply the Kirchhoff second law for this one because all are here loops only here for example we are saying now it is A B C D E F clear so this is the first this is the first cell children that's why here current i1 is going like this so this is the i1 clear now this is the second one i2 carries current sum i2 i2 is current moving like this now d is the junction what is d is the junction that's why the current enter into the third wire is i1 plus i2 all right children i1 amount of current is coming from the first cell this is the first cell and this is the second cell i1 is current coming from the first cell and i2 current is coming from the second cell these two are near the point d and the current should be entered into the th third resistance what i1 plus i2 and again this seems to like i1 plus i2 again at a point c at a point c the currents are separated like this again i1 and this is i2 
the amount of according to first what it is the amount of current which you are enter into the junction is equals to the amount of current leaving i1 plus i2 is entered and i1 i2 are leaving and this is what again i2 current and this is the i1 so this is the diagram children now you have to find out the amount of potential difference between the c and d let's go for that now we have to apply the kirchhoff second law to the the particular loops very important and interesting so here okay now first we have to go for the loop for loop so i am going to take in anti clockwise that is from a d c b a a d c b a so we are going in anti clockwise anti clockwise so we are started from at a clear so this is the current what it is i1 plus i2 i1 plus i2 what is kirchhoff second law the algebraic sum of potential in a loop is zero that's why here what is the potential here i1 plus i2 into 24 clear that's why here the potential value what we are going in the direction of current that should be taken as negative that's why here what we write minus of i1 plus i2 of 24 And again, here eighteen is there, so minus eighteen i one. Again, minus six i. It is going from low to high. That's why its value is plus. So plus four point five c equals to zero. Clear. Now we have to multiply them. Minus of i one is twenty four i. Minus twenty four i one. Minus twenty four i two. Minus 18 i1 minus 6 i plus i1 plus 4.5 c equals to zero. Clear. So what we got children here? You have to observe here 24 i1, 18 i1, 6 i1. So 24, 18, 6. So 4 plus 8, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. So 48. So that is what you get here. Minus forty eight i one minus twenty four i two plus four point five is equals to zero. From that we can write children here minus four point i one minus twenty four i two is equals to minus four point five. So you can take minus is common. Then what do you get? So this is forty eight. So what do you get children? 48 i1 minus 24 plus 24 i2 is equals to 4.5. This is equation number one. So this is what for Kirchhoff second law for the loop first loop A B C B A. Now in the same manner we can go for second loop. So same thing here for loop. D E F C D for loop D E F C D. So we are coming like this. So first thing is the same thing. Clear? For loop D E F C D, we are going in anti-clockwise, and the potential value what we are taking in opposite direction of current should be positive. That's why here what right? Children, twelve uh, of This is what I two. We are coming like this, okay? And this is the higher potential. This is the lower potential. The square root minus six. And again, this is what plus three I two. Current is I two and resistance is three. And again, now here this is also positive. What it is here? The current should be what it again? I one plus I two. So twenty four of I one plus I two is equals to zero. Now we can write what it is. Twelve I two minus six plus three I two plus twenty four I one plus twenty four I two is equals to zero. Clear. So now twelve I two, three I two, twenty four. Twelve plus three, fifteen. 
15 plus 24 39 so 39 i2 plus 24 i1 minus 6 is equal to 0 this is equation number 2 children 39 i2 plus 24 i1 equation minus 6 is equal to 0 now we have to multiply the equation on both sides with 2 then what do you get 78 i2 plus 48 i1 minus 12 is equal to 0 what do you write 78 i2 plus 48 i1 is equal to 12 this is equation number 3 children now we have to subtract subtract equation number 1 and 3 1 and 3 children what is the first equation 48 i1 plus 24 i2 is equals to 4.5 and this is what again 48 i1 plus 78 i2 is equals to what do you have 12 so we have to subtract them clear then what do you get minus 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 then what do you get this term is cancelled then what do you get children 78 minus 24 4 again 5 so 54 8 minus 4 4 7 okay 54 i2 minus 54 i2 is equals to 12.04.5 5 and 7.5 7 7.5 7 minus 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 cancel then what you write children here i2 is equals to 7.5 by 54 we will get clear children so if you can solve this one you will get the i2 value is 0 0.1388 like that what did 0 0.139 amperes i2 value is what 0 0.139 amperes by substituting i2 value in any one equation we have to get the i1 value let's go for that now we have to multiply these two 139 of 78 so 9 8s are 72 8 9 8 3 is 24 plus 7 31 8 1s are 8 plus 3 11 now 7 9s are 63 and 7 3s are 21 21 plus 6 27 7 1s are 7 plus 2 9 then what do you get 2 4 8 10 so 10 1842 that means what what you get here simply uh, 10.842 is equals to 12 now we have to minus them from 12 48 i1 is equals to 12 minus 10.842 and i1 is what here 12.000 10.842 8 5 1 1 1.158 by 48 children so then what you get simply here once again see 8 5 1 is yes. 1.158 by doing this one we will get 0 0.024 ampere children we will get 0 0.024 amperes I1 value is 0 0.024 amperes, I2 value is 0 0.139 amperes. Now what you would find out actually potential difference across between S, C and D. That's why here potential across 24 ohms. What it is simply V is equals to I1 plus I2 into R. So V is equals to I1 is what? 0 0.139 plus and I2 is what? So here very simple I1 value is 0 0.024 0 0.024 I1 value is 0 0.024 and I2 value is 0 0.139 of and R value is what 24 so 0 0.139 0 0.024 we have to add them 9 4 13 again 6 0 0.163 so V is equals to 0 0.163 into 24. Now do multiplication. 
वन सिक्स थ्री फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर फोर थ्री सार टुवेल्व फोर सिक्स आर ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड फोर वन सार फोर सिक्स फाइव टू एंड अगेन सिक्स टुवेल्व थ्री दिन वॉट गेट टू लेवन नाइन थ्री दट वन वॉट वी सी इक्व टू थ्री पॉइंट नाइन वन टू ओल्स सो दिस इज द आंसर चिल्ड्रेन The potential difference across the 24 ohms is what? 3.912 volts.